Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry the Chupacabra, and today we're going to talk about how do you reclaim the unused uh, storage space that Premiere Pro uses to store all of its media cache files. Now, if you're not very familiar with Premiere Pro yet, or you just don't know about this particular feature, one of the things that Premiere Pro does whenever it adds a video to your video library is if you look in the lower right hand corner of your Premiere Pro screen, it processes all of your videos into video preview files. And those video preview files allow you to quickly play back your videos in this preview screen so that they're not laggy, they're not stuttery, and you can see them in real time so you can see if there's any problems with them. And it's really just a tool that's meant to make the, your whole Premiere Pro experience very smooth and easy to work with. Now the problem is, Premiere Pro, whenever you delete something from your Premiere Pro projects and you're not using it anymore, it doesn't necessarily have a, a function where it automatically deletes unused preview files, so it ends up taking a whole boatload of space on your hard drive that you might want to use for something else. And if you're like me, and you work on a whole smorgasbord of different videos throughout the week, both personal and professional, then it can really start to add up, and I think a couple days ago, I deleted a few of them, and I freed up over 300 gigs of space on my hard drive. And that's not chump change when you've got like a 1 to 2 terabyte hard drive filled to the brim with all sorts of work stuff. Now, when you're doing this, you need to make sure that you've deleted all the stuff you don't want um, on your Premiere Pro project anymore. I'm going to delete all of my mic tests that I did, because I've been testing out a new microphone, and I was going to see if I was going to keep it or not to use for a streaming computer, and I'm just going to select them in the project media browser here on the side, and I'm just going to delete those. So now, the Premiere Pro preview files that, that were created for those do not exist anymore, but Premiere Pro still has them, and we don't want that to happen. So you'll go up here to Premiere Pro CC, or if you're on PC, you just go up to File, you go to your preferences and you find the section in the preferences labeled media. And this little area here in your preferences uh, window is where you can determine where your media cache files are saved to. And it's usually fine to just let them be saved to, you know, your local hard drive. If you're working off of a, an external hard drive for all of your footage, working between home and your business, because you, you know, you do a lot of stuff in both locations, it's often a smart idea to keep your media cache files in the same place where you have all of the footage. And you can do that up here by selecting this little ticky. And that'll make sure that all of your preview files are saved to your external hard drive so that you take them with you and you don't have an extra copy on two computers. But what we're mostly concerned with is down here, the media cache database. So you can change where it's kept here with Browse, or you can select the Clean button, and the Clean button will go through all of your media cache files and look at them and say, okay, all of these are no longer in use, let's get rid of them. So you click that, cleans up your database, presto changeo, you had a bunch of space get freed up for you to use for other stuff, probably more media cache files, but it's important to do this periodically, it's just smart maintenance on your computer to save space. And then you click OK, and you're good to go. Now occasionally, depending on the settings of your computer, like sometimes you have a weird IT guy at work, I don't know where you work, I don't judge your IT guy, but sometimes they have funny settings. Sometimes you may need to restart your computer for that to take full effect and to get all that free space back, because the IT guy at your place likes all of the data to be um, erased securely on your hard drive during restart, or some other settings that can do similar stuff that prevent you from using that free space immediately. But the most you'd have to do is restart your computer, and you should be able to use that space as if it was empty in the first place. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that's helped you uh, clean up and retrieve some free space on your hard drive to use for other stuff. I know it's a, it's a boon to me, because I do a lot of recording during the week for video games and stuff. So yeah, if you enjoyed this, if this helped you, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button, because that helps me out a whole bunch. And I'll catch you next time. Be sure to su suggest future video topics that you might be interested in looking at. You know, 
Maybe I could edit a video for gameplay purposes for other YouTubers who do a lot of Let's Play action. And I'm thinking about doing an Elgato game capture video explanation slash tutorial on how to get started with that piece of software. And yeah, that's it for this one, guys and gals. Uh, be sure to check out my gaming YouTube channel linked in the, the description of this video if you want to see more stuff by Larry. And otherwise, I'll catch you later. Have an excellent evening, morning, afternoon, or pandimensional adventure. Toodles!